There's an island unlike any other. Deep in the canals of Xochimilco, Mexico. Silence hangs heavy in the air. It's known as, La Isla de las Muñecas, Island of the Dolls. A place shrouded in mystery and darkness. A chilling story lies at its heart. A story of a man named Don Julian Santana Barrera. Over half a century ago, he stumbled upon a tragedy. A young girl drowned in these very waters. Her lifeless body floated before him. Don Julian was tormented by her death. He found solace by dedicating his life to her memory. One day, he found a doll near the site of her demise. To honor her spirit, he hung it from a tree nearby. But one doll was not enough for Don Julian's haunted soul. He began collecting dolls from near and far, all shapes and sizes lined his island home like eerie souvenirs some were old and disfigured. Others missing limbs or heads altogether he would hang them among the trees. Their eyes blankly staring at all who dared to visit visitors whispered about dark energies on this forsaken island could it be that each doll held within it some sinister presence? As time went on, Don Julian's obsession with the dolls only grew stronger. He would spend his days searching for more lost souls trapped within these plastic vessels. Every night, he would hear whispers in the darkness, and believe it was the spirits of the dolls communicating with him. Years turned into decades, and Don Julian's once vibrant life faded into a distant memory. The island became an eerie sanctuary for his tormented soul. A place where he could be surrounded by those who understood his pain. Visitors to the island couldn't shake an unsettling feeling that they were being watched by unseen eyes. They'd often hear soft cries carried on the wind or see shadows flitting between trees. Rumors spread like wildfire throughout Mexico about this enigmatic place. Some believed that each doll held within it a fragment of the young girl's spirit. Others claimed that Don Julian was driven mad by grief and had cursed them himself to keep her memory alive. Yet amidst all this darkness and despair, there was something strangely beautiful about La Isla de las Muñecas. The way those sad eyes stared unblinkingly at you as if begging for redemption. How they seemed to bear witness to all of humanity's suffering, it was enough to move even the hardest heart. As mysterious as life can be so is death. One fateful day in 2001, Don Julian Santana Barrera met his end in those very same waters where he had found that little girl so long ago, drowned just like her. No one knows what happened on that tragic day or what dark forces may have been at play. But one thing is for certain, La Isla de las Muñecas will forever remain a haunting testament to love, loss in our eternal struggle against forces beyond our understanding. But visit at your own peril, for who knows what secrets these dolls hold. And whether their enigmatic gaze will leave you unchanged or will draw you into their mysterious world, never to return.